Well, hosting a dinner party soon, but having a hard time deciding what to make. A good dish to make is sure to please everyone. It's lasagna. Joining us this morning, Keith Dyson with Carabas. It's National Lasagna Day, Keith. It certainly and is. I know you guys at Carabas are celebrating. Absolutely. We sure are. Thank you so much for having us uh, for National Lasagna Day. Um, so, yes, we are celebrating. We are offering a promotion from now until next Sunday, which is buy one of any of these three chicken dishes and get a free lasagna to take home with you. Very good. Now, you've got some ideas on how we can make a good lasagna. We sure If we do. want to make it to the house, maybe. Absolutely. So we've got a couple of different steps here. First thing we're going to do is saute off some beef or pork or sausage okay. or whatever uh, meat you choose. Okay. And we mix smells it smells wonderful, by the way. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and we mix it with our pomodoro sauce to make our bolognese sauce. It makes it a little easier for Okay. Me. Okay. All right. So we'll start there. And then we're going to layer that in. So our lasagna consists of five layers. Um, each and layer... It's cold right now. That is correct. It'll be cooked when it's finished. Okay. That is correct. It's already cooked. It is cooled. Um, and then uh, it will uh, cook in the oven as well. Okay. Um, and we will also have the pasta sheets already cooked as well. So that way um, we're not trying to cook the pasta sheets. So if I wanted to make this at home overall, what's the time it's going to take me from beginning to end? From grocery store to finish grocery product? Grocery store to finish product. You're probably looking at about three hours or so. Okay. It's good for game planning if you're making for a big group. Yeah. Absolutely. In the oven time itself is probably going to be about an hour, hour and a half. You How want hot to... are you cooking it at? 350 okay. on a convectional oven for about an hour. Then you're going to take the lid off and let the cheese melt and bubble and you get all that, uh, all that great uh, stuff that goes on with that. Okay. All now, right. how many layers do you put in the lasagna? So we're going to do five layers. Okay. And each layer is going to be stuffed with, like I said, the meat sauce. We've got uh, fresh mozzarella cheese, Romano cheese, and uh, ricotta cheese. So that's going to be on each layer. Okay. And if I limit it in supplies, could I do four layers, three layers? Sure. You can do as much as you want. I'm sure you can. I've never made lasagna. I always am happy to eat it. Uh, what are some of the other things you got out here while we cook? All right. So we've got some salad. We do offer family bundles as well. Feeds four to six people. Okay. So we've got uh, some salads. We offer our chicken dishes that way, our lasagna that way. And then we've got uh, cheesecake, New York style cheesecake. And it looks like you layers. recommend a certain type of wine with it? Absolutely. With lasagna, I think we should go with a mild red. Um, just a little heavier sauce. Mild red Cabernet is probably a good or a Pinot Noir. And is this pretty simple? An average cook, an average <laughs> chef could make this? I hope so. To? Yeah, absolutely. Grandmothers have been making it for generations. I so. know my mom made it many nights growing up. Uh, lasagna is an easy one. So this is good. And one more time on that what people can expect if they go on that free lasagna Absolutely. on addition to what they're ordering. So you get a chicken marsala, chicken brine, or polo rosa maria, and you get to take home with you a free lasagna for tomorrow, for tonight, for the next day. And we'll even bring it to you, actually. We offer delivery in four of our five locations. So very you can cool. Do that as well. Keith, very much from Carabas. I appreciate it. It smells wonderful. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much for Hopefully coming on.